Let's go ahead and cover stats for Jin Moon Soul Leveling Rise, because it is a very complicated topic. Stats in Soul Leveling Rise dictate your damage, there are caps for your stats, and a lot of other important factors you need to consider, so picking the right stats will lead you to be successful in this game, otherwise you'll be bound to fail, dealing far less damage than you should otherwise be doing. It's hard to decide what to go for, should you go for strength or agility, or even perception, so let's cover exactly what you need, but the first thing I want to do is bring your attention to this button here. This magnifying button is very important. This will let you key in to all your stats. And two of the most important ones, that being for Jinwoo, is the precision number here and also the critical hit rate number. These are the most important things you should look at since your artifact choices and stats will directly affect these two numbers the most. Obviously, attack is the number one stat we need. Every single skill Jinwoo has scales off attack, as you can see here. So as we cycle through them, you can see they all deal a percentage based on how much attack he has. This includes our ultimate as well. So every single of these skills directly reflects on our attack, which is exactly why the strength number here is so, so vital to upgrade. And I know you're looking at my precision and you're noticing it's very high. And meanwhile, my perception number is so low. If you're wondering, perception is what increases your precision, but there is also one more thing that increases it. If you look at my weapons here, you can see I'm using plum and the scythe and I have multiple dupes for them. So if we click onto them, you can see when you get multiples of an item and you start duping them up, it starts to provide precision, so that's why my precision number is so high. Between my usage of Plum and Scythe, I get a 6,000% bonus, and we also get the 600 base as well. That is exactly why my precision is so high, meaning I won't need to use too many stat points in Perception, so that means I have Strength and Agility left, because crit damage is such an important damage meta right now, but as it stands, getting your agility up is not a necessity. That is because we have our artifacts to boost our critical hit rate, and if you didn't know, your crit rate does cap at the 50% mark. That doesn't include bonuses. That only includes your agility stat amount and your artifact amount, and I'll explain this shortly. So ideally, you want to put in all your points into attack. This will net you the biggest bonus, and you also want to boost your perception to the point where your precision gets around the 80 to 85 range. That is what most people recommend. That'll net you the biggest bonus. So let me just confirm and check my precision. Let's see what my stats at now. See, at 85%. That is probably the max when we want since i do plan on getting dupes for my weapons that'll boost my precision even more so the rest of these stats will all go towards attack that is very very important so now if we go to our stats we can see our attack value obviously went up by a lot since we maximized on strength and our precision 85 percent is basically perfect exactly where we want it and just so you know precision also has a cap it goes up to 99 percent i believe which obviously isn't required you don't need it at 99 percent so the next most important important factor is to look at our crit rate. We want this number as high as possible, and as high as possible I mean as close to the 50% limit because any amount higher than the 50% mark will not net us any bonus. Once you get it past 50%, it'll just lock at the 50.00% number and it will be highlighted in yellow. That's just representing the cap for the stat. So with your artifacts, you should note that these artifacts here, that being your armor and equipment artifacts, will provide you the bonus crit rate, your earring artifact, bracelets and rings these are the ones that provide you the crit damage as you see here but also i want you to know for the main stat on some equipment you'll find you also get the crit damage bonus as well this is only for the main stat on the top here otherwise when it comes to the subsets you won't get the crit damage you'll only get the crit rate so do keep an eye out for that this is the ideal stat you want on jinwoo's artifacts of course being for the armor equipment as i mentioned earlier you also want to go for attack that is very useful but again artifacts are so hard to get especially ones with solid stats you'll have to do a ton of grinding until you find something that's at least decent, providing crit damage, providing a crit rate, attack bonus, and maybe even some defense spend. Those are the stats you want to look for, but crit and attack are the ideal ones. Obviously, you find the other stats that will boost his damage. It'll always be a plus. And just note, you won't get any crit rate on this bonus here. At least, now that I'm aware of, I've never gotten one before. They just provide MP and HP on top of providing these substat bonuses as well. That is the general bonus, these earrings, Rings, rings, bracelets, etc. I do provide. There is no crit rate, just the crit damage that you can get. So do keep an eye out for those. And since we are looking at artifacts, I do want to mention for your hunters, the stats you want to look for will always be reflected in our skills. So just click a hunter. Let's say Cha, for example. You can see here her skill will scale off her attack. Every single one of her skills will scale off how much attack she has. So the more attack you put on her, the more damage she'll do. Obviously, since crit and attack go hand in hand, you want to get 
artifacts that provide her crit and attack. That will be the best bonus for her. There are hunters like Choi who also scale off attack, but you don't want to get crit for them, obviously because Choi can't crit, so there are certain factors you want to look at. I do recommend always for your hunters to take a moment, read all their skills, because as you can see for Emma, she will scale off HP. That is her main stat. If you go for attack on Emma, for example, she will do way less damage, so please, please, please read your hunter skills, see what their damage scales off of. Every hunter is different. Some will scale off HP, some will scale off attack. Obviously, Jiwoo, she scales off HP, but hunters like Yunhu, they scale off defense. So do take note of all these factors. It is very, very important. So overall, the meta right now is just going maximum strength and getting your perception high enough to where your precision stat is around the 80% range. Obviously, between 80 and 85, it won't make a huge difference. It'll probably translate to a few percentage points in damage, but if you were to put it in strength, it will balance it out just a little bit still from all the tests that have been done. Getting your precision stat to the 85-ish range is exactly where you want it to maximize on how much damage you'll do. And one thing you should know about stats is that although we have the 50% cap, so let's say your crit rate is at the 50% mark, don't worry. Although we have weapons like Scythe, for example, that provide us a 25% boost in crit when certain conditions are met, of course, this does interfere with that 50% cap. It does go on top of it. So for any weapon you have that provides a bonus to your crit rate, for example, Plum does it as well. This will not interfere with the cap. The only thing the cap looks at is your actual agility stat and also the bonuses your artifacts provide. So something very important to keep note of there. Obviously, this is more of an end game issue since it'll take you a very long time to hit 50% crit, but it is something you want to keep at the back of your minds because if you don't know this, you'll end up wasting a bunch of artifact enhancements on your artifacts and gold, which is something you don't want to do. Resources in this game are so hard to come by, so you want to make sure you're using all your resources to their maximum potential. But one thing I do recommend is for the early game, you might want to at least try to get some points in agility. It could help you get a little bit of an edge, getting more crit rate and crit damage on top of it. Obviously, don't put too many stats into here, just a little bit to see if that might help you push through any boss battles you're doing. But again, that's only for the early game. For the mid and late game, this is your ideal, highlighting everything we just mentioned, getting your precision as high as possible, and getting your crit up with your artifacts. That is the ideal, so you can end up capping your strength, giving you such a high attack number, because we all know how important getting your power up is, so clearing more content will definitely help you out with that, which you need the correct stats to do so. But anyways, that should cover stats. Hopefully this gave you a better understanding. If you enjoyed, drop your like on the video, comment down below if you have any suggestions, and do subscribe for more Soul Leveling Rise content. This is Zaf, signing out.